After Julie Inkster won her third consecutive United States Amateur Golf Championship in 1982, the Sports Illustrated correspondent on hand wrote these words about golf's rising young star. Julie Inkster is only 22 years old and looks as if she could keep rolling along forever, relentlessly, year after year after year. Well, Julie Inkster keeps playing, and there's still not a rocking chair in sight. Get it dated for an eagle. How about that? Even after 31 tour victories, including seven majors and a career Grand Slam, the World Golf Hall of Famer couldn't walk away from the game even if she wanted to. Inkster's expert advisors, daughters Haley and Corey, nixed that idea long ago. She goes, what do you guys think uh, if I retire? My sister and I were like, no. You know, what are you gonna do, retire and play golf? It's always made her happy and I don't know why you'd, why you'd stop that. Julie Inkster grew up in a house just off the 14th fairway of the Pasatiempo Golf Club in Santa Cruz. Yet she didn't embrace golf until she was a teenager. She grew up idolizing older brothers Danny and Mike and played whatever sports they played. But at 16, Julie started working at Pasatiempo, where she met a new club pro named Brian Inkster and began to take golf lessons. He noticed her hand-eye coordination and competitive fire and convinced her that she had a future on the links. She got good pretty quickly. She's athletic, could hit it, and, and was willing to practice. Good combination. Inkster quickly showed promise in local tournaments. San Jose State golf coach Mark Gale was one of the few to take notice. He convinced her to come play for the Spartans, where she was an All-American in three of her four seasons. Pat Hurst is just one of the women who has benefited from the Julie Inkster Scholarship. Mark Gale would always go back and refer to Julie Inkster. Julie Inkster did this and Julie Inkster did that. And, and so we were always trying to follow in her footsteps at San Jose State. At age 20, Julie married Brian and a few weeks later began carving out her place in golf history. She won the 1980 U.S. Amateur Championship and went on to win that tournament in 81 and 82 as well. Completing that streak required her to make a long clutch putt on the 18th green to avoid being eliminated in the first round of match play. I'm caddying for her, which was nerve wracking. She asked me on the 18th green, what do you think? I'm thinking, I'm gonna console Julie after she loses this match. So she says, I got it. She kind of pushes me away and uh, she steps up and just hits it right in the back of the cup. They go to sudden death on the first playoff hole. Julie birdies it, wins. No other match was, was close the rest of the way. She just played great. Inkster turned pro in 1983 and was named LPGA Rookie of the Year. Thus began a career in which she would win 31 times, a mark that ranks second among active players. The only bumps in her road were baby bumps. Julie gave birth to Haley in 1990 and Corey in 1994. Initially, Inkster struggled to blend motherhood with her demanding occupation. It wasn't until 1997 that she decided she could fully recommit to golf without doing a disservice to her children. Julie realized that, that the kids were gonna be all right. She, she started focusing on her golf again, and then in 98, she started winning again. She took her kids to work as often as possible and still found time to coach their basketball and soccer teams. But on those rare occasions when Inkster's golf game was off, Take Your Daughters to Work Day had its challenges. She was in the lead going into Sunday and had a couple bogeys in there and it was a mad mommy face day and we're sitting in the locker room and my mom's sitting there and just kind of has her head in her, in her lap, just, you know, just see the steam coming out from her. And my sister looks straight at her and goes, you think it's okay if I have a cookie? My mom goes, you know what, Corey? You can have as many cookies as you want. Just as that writer predicted, Inkster kept getting better with age. In 1999, she reinvented herself as a late blooming powerhouse, winning five tournaments, including the U.S. Women's Open. She finished 16 under par, breaking an open record by six shots. In 2002, she won another U.S. Open, this time toppling superstar Annika Sorenstam with a late Sunday charge. At 42, Inkster became the second oldest woman to win the event. Inkster celebrated big shots that day as she often did, by in no way acting her age. She's got it! Oh, what a reaction from Inkster. Have you ever seen Julie dance? It's nothing that you'd patent. 
think it was the Muirfield Solheim Cup where she made just a massive putt and danced all around the green. And we're like, all right, that was great, but mom, I gotta show you some dance moves. I wouldn't say that she's winning Dancing with the Stars, but I have to say that it's truly, and she loves to do that. Chips more balls in practice rounds than any player I have ever seen. Oh, it goes in. Oh, that's ugly. <laughs> that's that's even worse. <laughs> you know, we, we played okay. We, we ham and egged it as, as well as we could. I <laughs> ham. And I was the egg. egg. <laughs> Solheim Cup officials kept waiting for Inkster to retire so that they could name her team captain. When it became clear that retirement was not an option, they surrendered and named her a captain anyway. Inkster guided the U.S. to victories over Europe in 2015 and 2017 before a narrow 2019 defeat in Scotland. It's the U.S. against Europe and to deal with the, the best players in the world. The respect that she has from the players is unbelievable. As I get older, I see how much she's done for us. Um, tear up. But no, she's, she's my best friend and um, my sister's too. After one of Inkster's tournament victories in 1999, someone suggested that she was over the hill. I'm on top of the hill, she shot back, and it's a long plateau. Tonight, Julie reaches the summit of the San Jose Sports Mountain. Up here, she can do all the dancing she wants. <laughs>